Okay, so this is some 10 gauge wire uh, to feed uh, the dual pumps that are going in. Um, and, and I got a relay there that's already wired up. See, that's a, I believe 14 gauge wire there that I was using for grounds and things earlier. Uh, we're going to go ahead and, and run this 10 gauge all the way to the front for power. We'll re redo that ground and uh, we're going to wire the power directly to the two pumps uh, through a grommet. I'm not going to use the stock wiring at all anymore uh, except for for fuel level so we'll still use that connector because of fuel um, fuel sending unit but we're not going to use it for anything else but what happened is I ran pushed this wire here up through the front it wanted to come out the side so we took out this screw here and took out this screw here and it allows you to move this piece a lot easier um, you can also pop this cover here off and you can see down inside and right down there is where the wire is so it ran all the way around the, this seat here and once we got around that seat it went inside this piece so it comes around and comes out at that nice little hole right there and that nice little hole feeds into this side piece and then when you run that wire all the way down the side piece you can actually pop this right here is just a few pop rivets and you can pop this off to look inside once you pop that off you'll be able to see your wire on the inside you'll pull your wire through and then when you pull the wire through you feed it underneath the carpet so you take this little black piece off and you feed that underneath the carpet there so the black wire runs all the way up underneath there comes out here we routed it all the way around the top side and it goes out of a grommet uh, inside my firewall and then once the 10 gauge wire goes outside the grommet it's routed through the grommet here not a very good angle I can get on that and it's routed behind the intake manifold over across to the other side over there and then what we're going to have is run all the way to over here. Nice 10 gauge wire, nice 10 gauge uh, fuse holder that's on um, the battery cable. And what we'll do is we're going to take these two connections and we're going to solder those together uh, to make a connection and we'll hide the excess wire. So my uh, cylinder for my fuel pumps uh, used to be grounded uh, right there where that loose wire is, that little hole right behind it. Right there. Anyway, um, used to be grounded right there with a uh, 12 gauge wire so pull the 12 gauge wire I mean pull the 14 or 16 or whatever it was wire match it up ta-da cut the link get uh, two ends so that we can make it just like this one and then we got 10 gauge ground I mean you bought the wire you bought the connectors you got a soldering iron why not use it the other end of the power wire and it also goes to that solenoid so it gets one of these alright so what I've done here is uh, the fuel sending unit is in um, I've cut the uh, ground wire here um, and we're going to take that ground wire and I the best ground that I found is a uh, spare tire uh, where it used to go. I got a, a wire wheel and used it on my uh, rotary tool, my rotary air tool, and uh, cleaned that off. And then we're going to use uh, this bowl here and uh, connector to the 10 aug aug gauge wire and make that our ground for our fuel pump. So I just, I mean, I know it's out in the open, but it just seems to be um, the best one for now. And um, we're going to go with that.
can see here, I've got the relay installed and mounted in the car, and it's spliced into the feed wire uh, to the fuel pumps. Now, I've already got it hooked up, and the wires are already in place, but I'm going to show you how I hooked them up. As you can see here, there are four numbers next to poles, and there's an 87 in the middle. 87 in the middle stands for 87A, which is not used when you're hooking it up. Okay, now, this relay is going to have four poles. The one number 30, which is going to be on the back side when it's mounted, of this particular relay, um, the number 30 is going to be the feed wire from the battery, and you're going to want a good 10. You're going to want a good 10 gauge wire for that, and that's that's to up your voltage, and it's coming straight from the battery, and it runs into this relay, and then number 87 is the one that feeds your fuel pump. So 87 goes to the fuel pump. Now you have two more poles left. You have 85 and 86. 85 is the top one on this solenoid and 85 goes to the ground that we installed up top there. So 85 is grounded out right there and it plugs in to this top terminal. Now 86 is going to be the bottom terminal. 86 is going to splice in to the black and white wire of your original harness. Now this is on a this is on a 90 DSM so it may be different as far as your wire color what you're trying to splice into is a 12 volt feed from your stock harness so this is going to actually close the circuit and flip the relay so that the power coming from the battery on number 30 goes through to number 87 and feeds your fuel pump so you're actually going to use one wire from the stock wiring harness to activate this relay you ground the relay out and then the relay just transfers the power from one wire to the next to feed the fuel pump whenever it's activated. All these wires, which is this is the feed from the relay to the pumps, and this is what activates the relay. So it would be the black and white wire, the 12 volt feed from this pin connector. Um, we're going to hide all that stuff so nobody can see it. And then this connector has a nice little plug on the bottom of it, plugs into the floor, keeps it stable. Okay? And then we have uh, I wanted to ground my pumps outside of the fuel sending unit, so this wire is what comes out of uh, the nice little loomed and electrical taped uh, wires here, and it runs, and I hit it underneath these panels, there you can see it poking out right there, and it runs, it runs right along there, and then like I showed, it's, it's mounted right there uh, to the spare tire. Now when I put this carpet back on, you won't be able to see it, but it is a very good ground and it, it uh, you know keeps some pumps grounded out for me. So as you can see here, we've got the uh, 10 amp inline fuse holder hooked up to the uh, battery. It is heat shrinked and soldered. Uh, I just put electrical tape over it just for a little extra protection. Um, this is the fuse holder and because I am running dual pumps I am running a 25 amp fuse. You cannot see that but it's white uh, generically that's 25 amp fuse and uh, this fuse holder is ready for a 30 amp max fuse so I'm within the limits of it. 10 gauge wire of course again it is uh, it has been soldered here and it has been heat shrinked. Again, I just do this uh, for peace of mind. And then down here, I have hid the rest of the wire. It actually runs into a piece of wire loom that runs around the back side of this here. And it runs back to that rubber grommet that I showed in the routing portion of this uh, video. So it's, uh, it's all complete now. It's all there. And let's see if we can't get some fuel out of it.